I'm gonna tell you 10 things I loved and learnt about being in New York City. Walking to school through Times Square was the most magical thing. Seeing people on the early grind going to work and some people finishing work at the same time, there was always something interesting going on or being set up for the day. Every morning I would walk past the cameras at Good Morning America and wave. This is how to get through New York traffic. <laughs> The time period I went for was from autumn, or I should say fall, to winter. Meaning I got to experience Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Merry Christmas, and New Year's. I've never seen a city so enthusiastic. Everything was decorated. But I mean, I shouldn't be surprised. It is New York City after all. The work you have to do in the course is hard, I won't lie, but it is very rewarding in the end. But during, I did find that I was in need of an energy boost to keep going. And sometimes I was stuck, like writer's block, design block. A good cup of coffee or tea would often give us the energy boost that we needed for the day. But if that didn't help, just the short stroll to Starbucks did to clear my mind. Getting out of the building and seeing the busy life on the streets motivated me without fail and always helped with the design block. You guys I am someone who loves a good adventure and New York City is the best place to be because to me every day was a new adventure. Even though I was at school from Monday to Friday, 8am to 5pm, I still got to explore the city, especially on weekends. My favourite was probably having a picnic on one of the rocks in Central Park and just watching the city do its thing. After learning the design fundamentals, I could not stop thinking about how design is pretty much everywhere I looked. Our teachers taught us how to spot good design and bad design and that's what I've been doing ever since. So keep your eyes open because I feel like I learned a lot more about design by just looking at it everywhere. New York City, the place to be for theatre. After realising that there is a ticket lottery for pretty much every single Broadway show, I think I ended up going to like three in one week. It's just so amazing and unique. Stay updated on what's happening in and around the city. I can assure you that there is something exciting happening almost every day. I was exploring Brooklyn once and I heard these loud bangs and looked up to see that it was a massive fireworks display over Manhattan. I was lucky enough to live in Hell's Kitchen, so there was a variety of restaurants to choose from. You just gotta explore and try as much as you can. The city life and just the vibe I got from being there was so inspiring to me as a creator. All I wanted to do was draw and make videos and explore design more. I understood why it's the city that never sleeps. It's the city that doesn't want you to sleep. It wants you to thrive off it, like so many people have done before. Take advantage of every day, every second that you have, being in that glorious city, doing what you love. Because before you know it, it'll be over. Now I may be back home, but I'm going to do everything I possibly can to be back there someday. And hopefully a little bit more permanently. Ready? Three, two, one!